Hello, Sabrina here from Cakes by Sabrina, and I'm sharing with you the tutorial on how to make my zebra beanie. What you're going to be needing for this project here is a 5.5 millimeter hook, or you can use a 5 millimeter hook if you want the beanie to be a little bit smaller. So, we're going to be needing um, Red Heart yarn, black, which mine's all on a mess, but that's what happens when you unravel it from the middle and um, white of course because zebra is red um, black and white and this is soft white red heart super saver yarn I suggest you use super saver yarn because of the thickness to it. it it stiffens up the ears and everything it makes the character come out way better so and pink and uh, I have a little bit of pink left here. I'll be using Red Heart. Or I might be using oh, this right here, the Sugars and Cream, which is very stiff as well. Just for the ears and the nose, because this is the pink that I have. And I really don't need that much of it. So I might just use this one. And uh, this is Sugars and Cream. so and It's like a variegated yarn. You're going to be needing a crochet marker, um, not necessarily, but if you uh, need to hold down things, I should just use a crochet marker or um, as I use here, bobby pins, just to hold down the ears in place to um, sew them around. You're going to be needing scissors, of course, and a tapers needle. And this is the one I like to use. It has like a little hook to it. See that? And it makes it much easier just to like hook it in there and like pull it through. It's almost like a crochet needle to me. But this is the one I always use. And I got this one at um, Kmart. It was a kit of like a bunch of them. So I need to go get more too because I've lost a lot of them. But this is my favorite. So let's get started. We're going to form the beanie first. And to form the beanie, get your whatever you want to start with, black or white. It doesn't really matter because it's just going to be um, like a striped beanie in a way, but we're going to make it into a zebra. So that's pretty much what we're going to be doing here is a stripe. I laid this silk down so you guys can get a better look at the yarn because I'm using black, of course. So we're going to make a slip knot and the way I do mine is I wrap the yarn over my hand. Then I take my two bottom fingers to hold it down a little bit. Wrap it around again over my two index fingers and tuck it under. Now I'm going to put my hook right into there and pull snug. Wrap the yarn around, pull through. There is my starting point. Okay, we're gonna chain up three. One, two, and three. Join with the first stitch that we made. Excuse me. For some reason, I think the lighting in here is really bad. It's a cloudy, gloomy day outside, and I'm trying to use the light from outside. So I apologize if you can't see the video that well, but I'm having a hard time seeing it through this video camera I have here. Okay, so we're going to go through the first stitch and pull through. Chain up one. In the center that we did, try to find your center. There's mine. We're going to single crochet into the center 12 times. So one, go into that little center there, pull the yarn through, wrap the yarn around, pull through. Two, three, four, five. Six, 
six, seven, and when it gets crowded like this, I hold down this part and push this down. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and one more. Twelve. We're going to slip stitch into our first chain one space, just like so. Wrap the yarn around. And what I like to do is fasten off. Yes, we're going to fasten off. We're going to keep doing that through the whole project. So if you don't like to do that, um, you can do the wrap around and keep continuing and adding your yarn. The only thing I like why I do this is because um, I don't like to have that big old line, bulky line inside the beanie. I feel like it's uncomfortable and stuff like that. So when I do this, and I think I do have a beanie here. Yes, I do. Here is a striped beanie that I've made. And as you can see here, the inside has no bulky line. Let me zoom out here. There's no bulky line whatsoever. So this can be worn inside or outside. There is no line. And the reason for that is because I cut off and I went to a different space and went around. So you don't see no lines whatsoever. No bulky lines, nothing. So this is the way I do mine. So if you want to continue doing it like this, be my guest. Because I'm showing you my way. My way. Okay. We're going to get the white yarn now. Make another slip knot in a way, just like a little loop. Don't need that much string, just a little bit. And for you to not have another little bulky line or anything like that, I suggest you don't go here. You're going to move around this ring. You don't have to worry about counting or anything like that because when you change. So just look for any stitch on the outer side of where we fasten off here. See how I went all the way around here? Now I'm going to attach my yarn. And I'm going to make a single crochet. Now I'm going to go back into that same stitch again and do another single crochet. So it'll be two in the same stitch. And we're going to go around this whole thing and put two single crochets in each stitch. So move along to the next stitch, put another single crochet. And if you see, I am having my straggler laid down on the top so I can crochet right over it. See, it's gone. And I'll be doing that with the black as well. So none of my stragglers will be seen. And don't mind the hole because all I have to do is just pull that middle string. Just like so, and it's gone. Wow, da 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 da. So if you still have that hole, pull that middle string down if you didn't crochet over it. So let's move along to the next stitch and we're putting two single crochets into each stitch. Make sure you lay down those stragglers so they won't be seen. Two, move along to the next stitch, one single crochet and two single crochet move along to the next and as you can see here there's that one and that one really don't have to worry about counting our stitches just make sure you have 12 and then you're doing two in each one it should equal up to 24 
since you did one extra, don't worry about that. Just you might want to make your um, beanie just a little bit smaller. Okay, we're coming back to our end here. And as you see, my straggler is just a little bit too long, so I'm going to cut that. It's already in there, so I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to slip stitch right on the very top here. And fasten off. And I'm going to bring my yarn right through and tighten up. Yay, we're getting there. <laughs> Go back to our black. Again, we're going to make a loop. You don't want to last the string that long because remember, we're going to crochet that in. And this is where we fasten off. So, I'm going to go back like four or five spaces pretty much. I'm going to go right here where it looks nice and loose. Pull this right through. Wrap the yarn around and go through. Make a single crochet. I like to pull it the string down just a little bit to tighten it on there and we're just going to seal and crochet in each stitch around so let's move along to the next stitch and let's single crochet one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and make sure you lay down that straggler a lot of work but your finished project will look fabulous Whenever this happens, just cut the end of the straggler off so it doesn't show through. Well, I'll tuck it in there, and that's pretty much it. And look at I got another one going over here. I'm gonna get that with the white next, so that won't be shown. the white string tingling up with my black string. Oh, and for this project, you can use polyester fill for the ears, or what I like to do is my recycle, pretty much. Loose ends like this and the other one that I just cut off, this one right here. Save them. Those are great filling for the ears. Let's go right here on the very top and do another slip stitch and fasten off. And as you can see, it's starting to form. Let's move along to the white again. This is going to be an increase round. Make your loop again. And 
I'm going to go back like around five, six spaces. I'm going to go right here. It doesn't really matter. You can go over here or over here as long as you're not next to where you ended up at because you're just going to have a big old bulky there. You don't want that. Now we're going to single crochet that in. Lay your straggler down. And next stitch, we're going to put two single crochets. One, back into that same stitch again. And two. Move along to the next stitch, put one single crochet. Move along to the next, and we're going to put two single crochets. One. Two. Move along to the next, put one single crochet. And we're going to continue this pattern all the way around. Put two in the next. One. Two. One single crochet in the next. And then we're going to put two single crochets in the next stitch. One. Back in the same stitch again. Two. Then we're going to put one in the next. And two in the next. One. Two. I'll put one in the next and two. One, two, one, two, one, and two. So continue that all the way around. One single crochet, two in the next. one single crochet and then two in the next one oops I only got one strand make sure you get two back at our end here and we're going to join with a slip stitch and fasten off see that we're getting our crown done let's move along to the black again Just untangling it. I got it all tangled up when I was grabbing the white. There it is. <laughs> I couldn't find it. Okay, I'm gonna make another loop. Move away from our fasten off space. So I'm going to go over here a little bit further away now. See how far away I am? Doesn't matter where you go, just make sure it's not next to it. And don't go like in the same place again and again and again. Because that way you get that big old bulk on the side. I don't like that. And for this round, we did a single crochet, fasten this in on. And now we're going to go each and every stitch all the way around with a single crochet. And I'll meet you there. Single crochet in each stitch all the way around.
going to be joining now the slip stitch and fastening off. to your white again, make another loop, it's like tying it over your finger and then you know you got your loop, and that's good enough, and this is where I fasten off, so I want to go somewhere different from fastening off, I'll go here, I guess that it doesn't matter, we're going to dip around and we're going to make the same crochet. Now we're going to move along to the next stitch and we're going to do another pattern increase. So make sure you pay attention to the pattern. Okay, we already did one single crochet here, so we're going to move along to the next. I'll put another single crochet. Then we're going to move along to the next stitch and we're going to put two single crochets. One and two. And that's the pattern. One single crochet, one single crochet, two in the next. One, one, two. So we're going to move along to the next and we're going to do a single crochet. Next stitch, single crochet. Next stitch, two single crochets in the same stitch. One, two. Single crochet in the next single crochet, two in the next, one and two. Move along to the next stitch, single crochet, single crochet in the next, and two in the next, one, two. Single crochet, single crochet, Keep laying those stragglers down. They do make a difference when you lay them down. Two in the next. One and two. Single crochet. Single crochet. Two in the next. One. Two. Single crochet in the next, single crochet, two in the next, one, two. Next stitch, single crochet, next stitch, single crochet, two in the next, one single crochet in the next, single crochet, two in the next. One single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochets in the next stitch. One, two, single crochet, single crochet, two in the next. One and two. One single crochet, one single crochet, the last one, two single crochets. One and two. Now we're going to join with our chain ones and fasten off. Pull that through. And pull snug. Move back to our black yarn. This is where we fasten off, so I'm going to move along to a different area. Let's try over here. Join it to single crochet. 
Now we're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around. One single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And I will meet you there. Make sure you lay down those stragglers. Okay, we're back at our beginning. We're going to slip stitch in our chain one space and fasten off. White yarn now, we're going to do another increase round. Make a loop. And I'm going to add it right here. Pull it through, wrap the yarn around, and pull through. Now I like to pull the back white string to tighten it on there. And now we're going to do another pattern increase. This is starting as one single crochet. We move along to the next, put another single crochet. Move along to the next, put another single crochet. And then we're going to put two in the next. So it's going to be three single crochets in each stitch, and then the last one, which is the fourth one, we'll put two. So let's move along to the next, put a single crochet, one, another single crochet in the next, single crochet in the next, two in the next, one, and two. One single crochet, one single crochet. One single crochet, and then we're going to put two in the next. One and two. Single crochet the next, single crochet the next, next stitch, single crochet, next stitch, two single crochets. One and two. Single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. Trying to get that straggler. And I'm going to put two in the next. One, two. Okay. 
crochet in one, single crochet the next, single crochet the next, and then two in the next, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, and then two in the next. That's three single crochets and then two in the fourth. One single crochet, single crochet the next, single crochet the next, next three, two single crochets. One single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochets. One single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, and then two single crochets. One and two. And next single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, two in the next. One, two. Single crochet. Single crochet, single crochet, last one, two. Single crochet, it's in the same space. You want to join the slip stitch on the very top of the first chain one and fasten off. Let's move along to our black now. another loop move away from your last fasten off place and go here join this on there bring it through pull tight bring the yarn through and now we're going to single crochet all the way around. One single crochet in each stitch all the way around.
we're going to join with the slip stitch and fasten off. Okay, so this is the size that I want. And this is the crown size. If you want to make this an adult size, you'll go on with the white and you'll join it on here um, away from the fasten off place and you'll do single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet four times and then two in the fifth. So four single, cr uh, single crochet in the first four chains and then two in the fifth and then you continue that pattern all the way around. Four single crochets and the first four chains and then two in the next. So I hope you understood that. I'm trying to get it right. This is going to be child size hat so if you want to go larger it's up to you. I'm going to stop here and for this now we're just going to join our yarn away from our straggler and single crochet all the way around. Fasten off, change color, do it again, do it again, do it again until we get to higher up like it's here. So this right here I put two because this is not a zebra beanie. So it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23 in the last. So we're going to be going up to 23 rows. That's a lot. Let's see how many rows we got so far. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we still got to make it to 23 rows. So let's move along to our white. Make a loop. Put it anywhere away from your straggler, your other black straggler. Join it on there. Single crochet all the way around in each stitch. And I'm going to move along with my just single crochet in each stitch. Making sure you lay down those stragglers. So no more increases, we're just going to single crochet all the way around, fasten off, join and then fasten off pretty much, and then change color and do the same thing again until we get to our 22 or 23 row, I think I forget what I just said, I'll find out right now.
orange oink. Fasten off. Pull snug. And we're going to continue that again all the way around. Now with the black. Now I'm going to stop this video. I'm going to end up with four rows so continue going around changing color exactly the same way I'm doing it here until you get to your 24th row it's easy to count because you got black white black white black white just keep on counting those until you get 24 of those and we're just gonna single crochet all the way around until we get there so stay tuned for part two on this tutorial where we'll start forming the face, the snout, the ears, all that good stuff, and adding the mohawk at the end. So continue going all the way around, just like I am here, and I will meet you at the end on part two on this tutorial.